Here's a little wet. So this took a show. Um, probably should have waited to record. Hello guys, my name is Hunter Pellegrino, or Super Muffin, and I am bringing you guys a video today, because I, I upload every Thursday, if you didn't know, and, well, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and it's, um, five things that are annoying about painting your nails. Now, if you're a person that doesn't enjoy listening to first world problems, or stuff like that, then you might want to click off this video, because it's sort of first world, like, I mean, it's sort of first world, and I'm sorry, I guess, I mean, I care about other places, just it's a, this is a thing that happens in my everyday life. That, well, not, yeah, every day. And, well, I figured I might as well share it with you guys, okay? okay. Number five. When, honestly, this is probably one of the most annoying things ever. When you're sitting there and you're trying to unscrew the cap, like, it, it, it's not gonna work with this one. You're trying to unscrew the cap, and, it's, and, and this one, it works easy because I just bought this. But, like, because you painted your nails and some of it gets on the little rim there, and it dries. And it dries the thing, so that way it like, sits there and takes so much screwing. And sometimes you'll unscrew it, but you'll put so much force in it that it'll spill, or it, something will happen to it, and it's honestly the most annoying thing ever. And it happens to me all the time. I don't know if it happens to you guys, but it happens to me all the time. I don't even know how to handle it anymore. It, it annoys me. Like, I, like, I'll be in the middle of painting my nails, I'll have, like, three nails that I'll just stop. I'll, Number two, well, no, okay. Number four, because Hunter doesn't know how to count, might actually be just me, but I have this problem so often. My hands are just, my hands are so shaky that it, it's like, it, this is just me faking it, but it's like, honestly, it, it's bad. See, when I'm trying to focus on painting one little surface in my body, and it'll just, sh it, sometimes it'll just shake so bad while I'm doing that, it'll just like go all over my, all over my hand and... It's horrible, honestly. It's the worst. And it's very irritating, because by that point you have your whole hand painted, and then after that you have to paint your arm and your other arm. At that point you just might as well paint your whole body and call yourself a cosplayer. I mean, honestly, it's... Number three is probably the reason why I don't paint my nails around my friends, unless they're painting their nails as well, is because your friends think it takes, like, 0.2 seconds to dry your nails. It does not. It takes 10 million years to dry your nails, and it's very irritating. For any guy out there who doesn't paint his nails, which I'm sure there's a decent lot of them, and understand, it takes longer than five seconds unless you have this 60 second shit. It takes 10 million years to paint your nails and let them dry. Listen when I say this. If you have a friend that's a girl or a friend that's a guy that's painting their nails, give them at least an hour for the whole process. It might not take an hour, but an hour is a safe bet. That way their nails are fully dry, you're not ruining them, and you're not ruining their self-esteem because painting your nails helps your, helps your, helps your self-esteem, or at least does for me. Give them at least an hour before they start doing anything, okay? <laughs> number two has something to do with number three. It's probably when you're painting your nails and you're letting them dry, the slightest thing, like, I'll be sitting there, I'll be trying to text my girlfriend back, or a friend back, after I paint my nails, and it, it, like, I'll be doing that, and my hand will be, because I have this thing where I have to pop over, like, my phone has one of those stands, I'll pop it open and rest it on my hands. Well, it'll mess up my whole entire nail painting, I have to restart, I have to wipe off the entire nail, it just takes forever and it's horrible, because I just don't get my nails time to dry, like, that last one should apply to me, honestly. I do not get my nails time to dry, I am so impatient, it is unbelievable, honestly. You don't even know at this point. Number one is... This is probably one of the most annoying things that happens to me. It might not happen to everyone else, but when I'm using either one of... They're not here. Give me a second. When I'm either using these, which are little pad things that you can... If, uh, and, if there's a guy watching my video that doesn't know, they're like little pads that usually are used for like eye makeup and stuff like that to take it off. I use them for my nails. That are using a cotton ball. When you're sitting there trying to take it off, you have nail polish move around it everything, and you just have a bunch of fuzz on your fingers and stuff like that from them. It gets to me so... You can just hear my side, giant side there. So bad. Oh my god. Please stop. Like, can we just have, like, this reusable rubber piece that we just rub against our nails and it wipes them off first try? Can that exist? Someone, please. 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 Pretty please. Thank you. Oh, excellent. My phone just fell. Huh? Alright, guys. So that was five things that annoy me about painting my nails. And honestly, I really put like i have i'm now getting more ideas to point to to pay. give hunter a second to learn how to english 
So yes, um, comment down below if you have any ideas for future videos, because I have ideas, but I would like to know your guys' ideas, that way I know in the future what you guys want, how you guys want it, da 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 da, -da. It's, it's just a thing, honestly. Remember also to like the video, that way I know you enjoyed the video, that way I can make more content and enjoy it. And also remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content from me about future things that you might recommend or I might do. Honestly, I'm gonna try. Make, I'm gonna try and make my content so everyone can relate to it, even if you're a new subscriber. And yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do all the things I mentioned before, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you had fun. Bye.